Hi, welcome back. In this lecture, I want to talk about uh, how to calculate the trajectories of uh, charged particles such as electrons and ions given an electric magnetic field. So we have electric magnetic field, electric field and magnetic field define a certain point in the space and we want to calculate what is the trajectory and the dynamics of uh, our charged particles. The solution of uh, trajectories is nothing else than solving the equation of motion uh, for uh, each particle. So for each particle, we're going to have uh, a velocity that corresponds also to uh, a given uh, momentum and also a position. So our goal is to solve um, what is the position at a certain uh, time step and also what is the velocity at a given uh, time step. The problem of solving a trajectory is nothing else than uh, solving the so-called Newton's equation. That's something that you learn in previous courses, probably physics 101, that tell you that uh, the, the mass of the particle multiplied by the acceleration is uh, equal to the forces that are acting on the particle uh, itself. So in this slide, we have nothing else than the innocuous Newton's law or equation of uh, motion. Uh, there is probably something a little bit different from what you're accustomed to. Instead of uh, having m multiplied by the derivative of v over dt, which is the acceleration, we have the variation of the momentum. And why is that? Well, in a, in a general case, also we can include an equation of motion, the relativistic uh, dynamics. Uh, so in the case of the relativistic dynamics, uh, P, the momentum, is equal to the, the mass multiplied by uh, gamma, uh, that is the Lorentz factor, also called you know, gamma typically, uh, multiplied by the velocity where these two guys are um, a vector. In these uh, lectures, and we are going to do with the, with the classical case, and this corresponds to the Lorentz factor equal to, to 1. So if you look at uh, how uh, gamma is actually defined, gamma, the Lorentz factor, is equal to 1 over the square root of 1 over, and then we take a factor to square, and this factor is uh, v, our velocity, divided by the speed of light in uh, vacuum, what we typically call the sim. In the classical uh, physic, physics, uh, we assume that this term v over c is very small, so it can be considered a zero. So gamma becomes one. So the variation of uh, the momentum or the variation of uh, uh, velocity is nothing else than the uh, forces that are acting on the particle itself. This course is about computational electromagnetics and therefore the two main forces that we are analyzing are the Coulomb force, that the Q multiplied by the electric field, and this is called the Lorentz force, the, the one that makes our charged particles to uh, rotate it. That is Q multiplied by V uh, times or you know, uh, outer, outer vector operation with the uh, magnetic field. We are going to assume these other forces equal to zero, but we might have other forces, for instance, if you're doing a gravitational uh, simulation for uh, astrophysics, then probably also we need to take care of um, gravitational forces. However, in this lecture, we're going to put these forces zero, and we're going to focus on uh, solving this uh, equation. In particular, we're going to do m, so gamma is equal to one, and then we're going to calculate the derivative of the velocity over the uh, time is equal to uh, Q by the electromagnetic uh, forces. Together this equation, we solve also another equation that is typically implicit, that is just the definition of uh, uh, velocity. So V is nothing else than the derivative of uh, position time, where we call the position X. So for each particle, what we're going to do is to solve this particular equation. We're going to choose a different initial condition. For instance, we can choose different velocity in different position. And then, given the electric magnetic field at a certain point, we are going to calculate the uh, trajectory. In this lecture, we're going to use uh, uh, Python. In particular, we're going to use uh, uh, three main packages. Uh, first of all, NumPy for helping us during all the vector operation. Uh, Matplotlib. 
uh, here in order to visualize the trajectory. And the most important one for this lecture is a SciPy that allow us to use some ODE solver, ordinary differential equation solver, that is going to make our task very easy. So let's first uh, look at uh, how we can uh, define our differential equation in a, in a function. This is, a, this is an equation that we're going to give to the Python uh, solver that is going to be in, to, in the next uh, slide. The case that uh, I want to solve in, uh, in this lecture is the following. So we have uh, a particle with a given position and velocity. And then uh, I want to calculate what is the uh, trajectory of the particles that uh, fills a magnetic uh, uh, field that is generated by a dipole. So for instance, could be the dipole of the earth magnetic field. So we know that the earth has a magnetic dipole and the charged particles will be affected by this uh, magnetic field. Also, we assume that there is not going to be any electric uh, field. So E field, so the, the first part of the forces, the Coulomb force is not going to be there. Instead, we're going to have only the Lorentz force that is uh, making our particles uh, uh, rotating. So in the first part uh, of our function, we have the definition of uh, our dipole magnetic field configuration. So if you want to, for instance, calculate a different uh, uh, magnetic field configuration, here you're going to, you need to, to change the definition of the three components of the uh, magnetic field. The main uh, task of this function is to define the first order derivative. Given the equation of motion and, we are going, and uh, given the solution in a three dimension, we are going to have six first order differential equation to solve. The first one are the basic one and are just the definition of uh, the velocity. The velocity in the three components are nothing else than the derivative in time of the uh, position. And you see here just the definition of the velocity. The second part is related to the derivative of uh, the velocity that is, is going to be equal to the forces acting on the particles divided by the mass. So here we have a mass that is, uh, is, is divided. And then here uh, we have the definition of uh, VE uh, times B. And this is uh, outer, outer vectorial uh, product. Mm -hmm. This is just uh, the definition of uh, uh, this uh, Lorentz uh, force. And uh, this function returns uh, uh, six component that uh, are the, the six components of uh, our first order uh, derivative for the definition of velocity and for the forces acting on the particle. Using Python and using the definition of the function we saw in the previous slides is uh, nice and dandy to solve uh, the uh, ordinary differential equation. So how, what we need to do? Well, we need to call a scipy function that is called the solve i've vp it stands for initial value uh, problem this function takes uh, a number of uh, arguments the first one probably the most important is the definition of the function where we actually define a set of the first order differential equation and especially what is uh, at the right hand side of our equation since this a problem to solving the trajectory, we want to find what is the position and the velocity of our particles at different uh, time. And we define a so-called time span, going in this case from zero to the final. Note that we can we also cannot, we are also in a position of not defining you know, the, the typical time step, right? It is the time solver that is, is going to calculate for us. We need to provide the initial condition Otherwise, the problem does not make sense. So we need to provide a vector with the initial condition in the position. So x naught, y naught, z naught, u naught, v naught, and w naught. Right? What is the conditional, the for the position of the particles at t equal to zero, and what is the velocity at the particle at t equal to zero? And then uh, we define. Uh, what is uh, uh, the, the method. So to solve an ordinary differential equation, uh, there are different methods you probably heard about in uh, your numerics uh, class. The, the method that we're going to use in this case is 
uh, Runga uh, Kutta. And also we can uh, provide a, a number of uh, uh, tie step. Notes that is uh, returning a, a matrix and uh, the uh, solution with the two components. The first one is the number of the points that uh, our trajectory is evaluated. Right? So we can take this uh, value and uh, the most important things for us is going to be uh, y. So this contains all the solution uh, uh, values. Right? So this is going to contain at a given time uh, what is the position x, y, z and what is the velocity u, v and w. Right? So this each time we have six uh, values to analyze. Once we have that, we can actually define the, the, major, the main uh, code. Uh, you see here, uh, what we're going to do is to define the initial velocity in terms of uh, energy. In this case, I define the energy in, uh, in, in, in joules. And then I calculated the, the speed uh, using this uh, uh, formula uh, here. And uh, I, I define the distance, the distance from uh, the center of uh, our uh, domain. And this is uh, the, what is the initial position of uh, our uh, particle. In this particular case, it's going to be uh, a proton. Also want to uh, define uh, the, uh, what is uh, the, the direction of velocity in this case is defined with the, with the pitch angle. So the pitch angle is nothing else than, uh, so if this is uh, uh, this direction, uh, this is going to be our pitch angle. So by changing uh, the pitch angle, we can change the uh, direction of uh, our particles. And mod has been uh, calculated uh, before. After that, we need to define all those vectors that we're going to give to our solve IVP here. So we have the Newton Lorentz that we've been defined before, the initial uh, condition, the, the time, the time step, and uh, a method. After that, uh, we solve we solve uh, uh, our ODE for all the different uh, time steps. So what we're going to do is actually plotting. The first part is to extract and you see that we are extracting a y that contains x, y, z, u, v, and w at different at this time step. And we're going to uh, plot. In this case, this is the motion of uh, protons, you know, given uh, this uh, energy. And you see that the uh, proton is actually trapped. It's trapped uh, uh, around uh, what are called the belts, belts, right? So if you are into, into space, you probably also know that around the Earth there are so-called uh, radiation belts or Van Allen uh, belts. And what we can do by using this uh, very simple program is to determine what is the particles that are trapped in the radiation belts. This is the last uh, slide of this lecture and talk to you soon.